Tim Lorden here and today we're going to be trying out the Corvex Stingray on Horizon 2. I'm on the 360s today because I've been getting a lot of requests recently. Um, now I know there's no tuning, it's just the setup of the car, so please no hate. I know just as well as you guys do, I've got an Xbox One myself. So more videos on that to come out in the future. If, if you, any of you guys want any car drift builds on Horizon 2, comment down below. But anyway, let's get straight on into the drift build. I'll see you guys over there in a minute. Right, so for the upgrades, we're running a stock body kit. Um, that's all personal preference though, so go check that out. See whether or not you like them. Um, for rims, we got stock tire compound. We got for rims, we've we're running some TSW Hockenheim R rims. So if you want to check them out, I think they look pretty nice in the end. Um, size, when we're, we won't run through that. Um, engine, you want to run through and do all the upgrades to the top as much power as you can squeeze out of it as possible. Um, for the platform handling, we've got full brakes, full suspension, so it's as low as possible. For the anti front anti roll bars, we got race, and for the rear anti roll bars, we got stock, so it's a little bit more loose and you can fling out a little bit more. For, we got full race reduction, uh, and then to the drive train, we got full clutch, stock transmission. Box, it bugs down too much in the other transmissions, you just can't get good drift out of it, so you have to sacrifice some speed there. But onto the drive line, we got a race drive line, better for weight, you know, quicken up the car a little bit. Stock drive, stock diff. I'm not too sure what the diff does in this game. In other horizons, that where you have the tuning, you can lock the diff, well, at least turn it all the way high, and I don't know, separate the drive. But in this game, you can't, so I figured I'd leave it. Um, and then. For the conversion, um, we've got a root supercharger, uh, and you get a little bit more power out of it, well quite a bit more, like 67 horsepower, um, but usually I go with the turbos, but I couldn't be asked with the lag this time, I mean you get a little bit more power out of the root supercharger, so it's probably your best bet, the more power you have in this game, the better your drift is. One more thing for you guys go, uh, the paint I use is from PSP Flippy, um, as you can see it looks very nice. Um, change the view here. So it's got Monster Energy logos. If you want to check it out, go buy it. I can't remember the price. Uh, did it say it there? No, it doesn't. I uh, would imagine it's free. But anyway, go check that out. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Comment what car you want to see next, and whether or not I should be moving on to the Xbox One. Whether or not it's too late to be doing the 360 videos now. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time.